guys wanted to show you this plumeria that I've been growing now for uh, two years since we got it from our trip to Hawaii as a cutting. I rooted it in pure perlite. Took about three months to root in my greenhouse under a heat mat. And then I planted it out into this one gallon pot that's mostly perlite with a bit of soil. So it's really well draining. And this summer, I was rewarded with some inflows. So it's uh, producing these beautiful flowers that just smell amazing. Remind me of the islands. And here's a second inflow now coming in on this other branch. And uh, I think what helped in producing inflows is how I stored it in the winter. So traditionally, I used to put these plumerias in the greenhouse for winter and they would kind of still be growing, but at a very slow rate. And I would lose many of them to rot. And I think what was happening is it was too cool in the greenhouse, only about 10 to 15 Celsius and too moist. And I didn't water it, but I think just the humidity of the air and the temperature was um, not good for them. So they always used to rot. So this year I, I brought it inside end of September and I just, I stopped watering it and then it slowly started to drop the leaves. And then once all the leaves were off, I just took it and put it uh, above my laundry, uh, above the washer dryer in the closet where it's dark, but warm, not, not too warm, like house temperature. And all winter it, it remained in that state. And then in the spring, I brought it out um, into the living room where there was light. And I didn't water it. I just let the leaves kind of start coming out on it. And then once there was, you know, three to four leaves per branch, I started watering it. And then I noticed these inflows coming in. And I really think these plants, they need the dormancy during the winter in order to produce blooms. Now there are some evergreen types of plumeria, like the Singapore white and the Singapore pink. Uh, but in general, these rubras are, um, they need that, that kind of drier season to produce inflows um, in the growing season. So I'm hoping to get this guy getting bigger and, and usually they they do branch after an inflow so it would be nice to have you know this uh, tree take shape in the, in the coming years and hopefully I can keep it alive because I've gone through probably six or seven plumerias over the years and they always seem to peter out over time but I, I think I mess up with the winter where I uh, don't treat them correctly uh, so anyways thought I'd make that video for you guys if you're into growing plumeria, please post below and tell me where you're from and your success or your failure with them. They're not the easiest plants to grow out of the tropics and the subtropics, but they are definitely worth it. And, and this flower, the beauty of the flower and the, the smell from these flowers is worth it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.